praise the name of the Lord. It's that day again on Friday when we bring to you the Divine Encounter live on CTN TV. And it's such a joy in this season uh, to have our first uh, episode that we've shot after the COVID-19 because we had to take a break because of so many logistics that were involved. But now we thank God that we are able to gather again. And uh, you find the setting a bit different because we are trying to observe social distance. And uh, as well, we are, want to avoid as much as sweating as we can. And we are doing our best under the circumstances. And we trust and believe that you will be blessed. And today, as always, we are joined by the one wonderful CTN band uh, from the extreme right, uh, Minister Ibrahim. You can just shout on there and shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Saudi uh, zimekuwa nyororo. I tell you, we've been on a break. Even mine, my Twitters are back. And uh, we have the latest bride in town. And uh, while you are away, while you are away, uh, Furaha got married. And I think it's only fair to give an opportunity to tell us how is marriage life. Sasa anaitwa Furaha nani. Um, now I'm um, Mrs. Mokolo. Hey. Yes. Hey. Iyo Iyo ni kilele za shango. Wow. <laughs> How nice. Yeah. And marriage life so far is is, is nice. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Thank you so much. And on my left uh, is uh, Minister Richard. Uh, Minister Richard, tungote tu 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 inuwe mkono tu tu juwe uko. Amen. And on the extreme uh, left is Minister Beatrice. And uh, we can see the the cloud of the glory of God is upon her this day. So na we pia hallelujah. Amen. And of course, as always, our wonderful band is there. Alf, yuko hapo. Guza kitu tukuone. And we have say B. Great. Hey, na tu kopele na Dan, brother. Hey. Amen. Na Mr. Kalimasi Mwenyewe, he's in the house. Wow. So everybody is set and we are in for a very wonderful time in the presence of God. And uh, today we are having a special guest, none other but uh, Brother Minister Dodu uh, Manengu. He's a wonderful worshiper. He's going to be with us in a short while. So don't touch that dial. This is a time to share with your friends and family and let them know that the hour of divine encounter has come. And uh, to kick us off, we are going to request Sister Furaha to lead us with the song Salama. It is well with our souls.
That's what the Bible says, that uh, it is well with my soul. Um, when, the, when that woman was asked, the Shunammite woman, and uh, she had lost her baby, and the prophet asked her, asked her, are you coming in peace? And she said, it is well with my soul. Sometimes in the midst of all this crisis, it's just good to tell your soul, it shall be all right. Maybe your bills are piling up, things don't look okay, but I came to tell you it shall be well in Jesus' name. Before we introduce the topic of today, uh, we are going to declare and prophesy that we will not remain the way we are. And we request our minister Richard to lead us, sit back and come and leave you. Imani yangu, 
We declare to Tainuka Tena, even though we look like we are cast down, there is a lifting up, and that is what the word of God tells us. Even if you don't feel like it, there is always a declaration and a proclamation that lasts longer than all the resistance around you. And uh, to kick us, the topic of today is importance of divine presence. How important is it to carry the presence of God wherever you go? And I want us to read the book of Acts chapter 2, and I will read from verse 1 uh, to verse 4. It says, when the day
day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place. Suddenly, a sound like the blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting. That is the atmosphere we feel right now, where we feel like heaven is here. They saw what seemed to be like tongues of fire that separated and came to rest on each one of them. Uh, all of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit, Spirit enabled them. And as we talk about the importance of, of divine presence, it's interesting to see that in this same chapter, that the same Peter that denied Jesus three times, after that encounter with the divine presence of God, the infilling power of the Holy Spirit, the same man stood boldly before the crowd. He was running away before a small girl, running away before people. By that time, he stood before 3,000 people and preach the word of truth. Amen. And uh, they, they, three, actually there were more than 3,000, but what is recorded is that 3,000 gave their lives to Jesus. Amen. Every time a man encounters divine presence, divine presence helps you to do the impossible. It may look like there are impossible situations in your life right now. All over the world, COVID-19, nobody is sure what is happening tomorrow. You're not sure whether where you're going is okay. You're not even sure how the economy will be. We were not even sure whether our children will go back to school. There's a lot of uncertainty but one thing is so sacred and so you know so uh, distinct is that those who carry the presence of God in the in the midst of a storm they will carry an unusual boldness and that is what I pray that you will have a courage to confront your mountain what you used to run away from that now you are not going to run away again you're going to confront it in the spirit of the Lord and that is why it's very important for you wherever you are be baptized in the Holy Spirit desire the baptism of the Holy Spirit it. Many people ask us when we speak in tongues, what is that language? It is not a land language. It is not like French or Amharic or, or, or Latino or Chinese you go and learn. It is a language of the spirit that the devil does not understand. So in case you don't have that language, all you need to do is surrender to the Holy Spirit and tell him, Holy Spirit, I need your language. Because one sign of a divine presence is the indwelling presence of the Holy Spirit. And each one of us has had an encounter with the presence of God. For me, he's like a tongue of fire. I am totally different when I am in my natural, but when I hold the microphone to preach, it's like fire enters my tongue. It's like something changes in my tongue because when the Holy Spirit is upon you and he anoints you and appoints you for an assignment, you, do, you no longer become the you. The presence of God transforms you to become what God wants. And I want to go to my extreme right and ask Minister Ibrahim, uh, when the presence of God is upon you, uwebo wa mungu napokuwa juu yako, unamuhisi kama nini? Mbo kwangu uwepo wa mungu kiwa juu yangu, mm -hmm. ni naisi kwa ma niko na nguvu ambayo inanipigania. Amen. Because mtu mwenye ako na uwepo wa mungu, mm -hmm. hawezi ukampiga vita na ukamushinda. Nikweli. Kama Biblia inasema wakati wana wa Israel likuwa toka misri, mm -hmm. farao na jeshi laki walikuwa na wafata. Uh -huh. washike. Uh -huh. Japoku walifika kwenye, kwenye bahari ya shamu, mm -hmm. lakini kwa jiri walikuwa na presence ya mungu. Nikweli. Mungu waliwapigania na walimshinda farao. Amen. Kwa hiyo so, ni vizuri sana kutembea katika uwepo wa buwana. Amen. Mana ukiwa na uwepo wa buwana, wewe ni mshindi. Kila kitu, vita yote na yokuja kwa njia yako, utaishinda ma maana uko na uwepo wa buwana. Amen. Na nakumuka uh, iyo suri ya wana wa Israeli, uh, Moses katika Exodus 33 ya disema, kama uwepo wako hawendi na sisi. Hatutaki kutoka hapa. And the reason is uh, wakati madui walikuwa wazingira. Uh, mungu waliachilia a cloud of fire by night and a cloud of glory by day. Ya kwamba walikuwa mezingiru wa nyuma na mbele. That even when Pharaoh and his armies tried to look at them, they could not see them. It tells you that when you carry the presence of God, it's a protection that is bigger than all the traditional and cultural belts that you are given to tie around your waist. It is much bigger than all the everything that you can carry to try and protect yourself. When you carry the presence of God, it is a shield and defense. Psalm 3, 3, for thou, O Lord, are a shield for me, my glory and the lifter of my head. That's a very powerful point, Minister Ibrahim. Minister Furaha, yes. uh, Mrs. Mukolo. Oh, Mukolo, <laughs> I am still learning. Oh, Jesus, I'm still learning. So to Ambie, when the presence of God is upon you, uh, explain to somebody who may not understand uh, the importance of the presence of God. When he's in your life, how, how is your life? Uh, as for me, let me say it personally first. Yes. For me, when the presence of God is in my life, mm -hmm. there is fullness of joy. Amen. Like that joy that will just make you cry. Wow. Le, like you cannot contain it. Amen. Yeah, and and uh, when you when you walk in the fullness, uh, when you walk in the presence of God each and every day, each and every day, mm -hmm. 
you will just get that joy that even if you're passing through heavy things, yes. but the Lord will just sustain you with joy in your nashindwa. Why am I? I'm going through this, but people are naona. People that surround you, they see yeah. glory. Nikwele. Yeah. But you're going through a lot of things, but God just keeps you with his glory because the fullness of joy is in you. Amen. Mm -hmm. I love what the presence of God does in the life of a man. Your emotions and your situations become like two separate issues. Yeah. You may be going through fire and you're excited. And people are wondering, are you insane? Yeah. Uh, like I was thinking about Nehemiah. Nehemiah was building the wall and there are people mocking him. But he said the joy of the Lord is our strength. Because joy is not just having a, a wide smile and having a nice countenance. Yeah. Joy is strength. Yeah. So when you carry it, depression cannot get you. Mm -hmm. And as we speak right now, there is somebody going through some depression. I pray that the presence of God will encounter you and give you joy. Amen. That money and relationships cannot give. Amen and amen. Uh, Minister Richard, uh, amungu kwako, una umuhimu gani? Asante sana Rev. Uh -huh. uh, ina ina muhimu kubwa kabisa uh, kwa sababu nikaangalia kuna mahali ambapo imeandikwa kwamba wakati Moses alitoka mm -hmm. ndani ya uwepo wa Mungu. Mm -hmm. Wakati alikuja mbele ya wana wa Israeli. Mm -hmm. Alikuwa amejawa na utukufu. Uh -huh. Hata watu ilikuwa vigumu kumtizama wow. sababu aliku, il, ilikuwa na tosha kabisa power, mm -hmm. nguvu. Mm -hmm. So when tuko ndani ya uwepo wa Mungu mm -hmm. huwa tuna chukua nature yake. Amen. Yes. Wow. So, wow, the, that's the, powerful. Wakati unamsogelea Mungu sana, mm -hmm. na wakati unasogelea uwepo wake sana, mm -hmm. inakufanya uwe kama yeye. Mm -hmm. Sababu hata tukasema kwanza kwangu mimi. Mm -hmm. Mimi uh, kuna tofauti wakati mimi mbaka na mimi najua kama ni kuna yeye. Eh. Na kuna wakati mimi najua hapa <laughs> no. Hapa mmepitana. Yes, yes eh. hapa nangangana tu. Eh. Lakini kuna wakati hiyo wakati utakuwa na hiyo uwepo wa Mungu. Eh. Unakutana unafanya vitu kama yeye. Eh. Sababu tukangalia uh, Petro. Eh. Pita kuna mali ambapo alindaka kufufua Tabita. Eh. Yes. So wakati alifika hapo kitu ambayo ilimu ilimufunulia kazi ambayo anaweza fanya hapo ni hiyo ambayo alipataka kwa Yesu sababu alikuwa karibu na yakajua oh okay so karibu na, wakati uko mbele ya mtu ambaye amefariki mm -hmm. haufai kupiga magoti u, eh. rababonde u, eh. nini 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 hapa ni ku, ku unaongea na mamlaka eh. unafanya amka Ehe. Yani you have an authority. Uwepo Mungu inakupea authority. Wow. Yes, inakupea authority. Haijalishi shida ambayo unaweza unaweza ona, haijalishi Amen. nini ugonjwa. Hiyo nature ya Mungu haitaweza kuvumilia hiyo magonjwa ambayo wow. iko mbele yako. Sababu That is so yes, profound. Amen. Hey, that divine nature. Anasema ya kwamba as we look into him, we are transformed day to day into his image. Inamaanisha unapokaa na uwepo wa Mungu, kana mtu hata kama ukikaa na mtu ambaye anapenda furaha, unajipatanga ni contagious. Ukikaa na Mungu, unafanana kama ye. Minister Beatrice, uh, ukikaa na uwepo wa Mungu, what, what are the benefits that you have found? And as for somebody that is asking, why do I need him to walk with me? Amen. Thank you so much, Reverend. I will say when someone carries the presence of God, there is assurance of salvation. Wow. Jehoshaphat was told, stand mm -hmm. still and see the salvation of the Lord. Mm -hmm. So sometimes when we carry, not all the times, when someone carries the presence of God, mm -hmm. God fight the unseen battles that mm -hmm. we cannot fight for ourselves. Amen. Amen. And that is the difference between wale wa miyokoka na wanatembea na mungu na wale wa miyokoka na wanatembea peke yao. Na kutembea na mungu si ngumu. Worship is one way that you are guaranteed that the presence of God is with you. Na ndiyo mana inasema kwa Biblia that, uh, uh, that uh, to Psalm 22 verse, uh, it should be verse 3, that God inhabits the praises of his people. Ni kumanisha unapo msifu mungu. When you appreciate God, he stays around you. Lakini kama unamu ignore, uh, kama you don't even acknowledge him in all your ways, why should he be around you? There are some people even God tiptoes around their houses. Because that is the mambo, they are cursing him even in their bed. God, if you are, if, if you are powerful, you know, you don't get things from God by challenging him, invite him, be welcoming. Uh, if he tells you don't do this, don't do it because his presence is precious. And uh, we are going to take uh, to the next level and ask Minister Bridges to lead us into a song. 
that reign Jesus reign. There is nothing else more important than having him reign in our lives. And remember we are having our guest that is coming uh, immediately after we sing the song. We are going to go for a break later and then we are going to have a Minister Manengu come Nina Haja Nawewe and many other beautiful songs. Over to you Minister Beatrice. Jesus. guest none other uh, but Manengo and uh, as he comes we are going to stand up and uh, just worship the Lord together with him and wherever you are at home your feedback is important to us kindly let us know the songs you want us to sing give us feedback like our page and God will bless you see you after the break 
Amen. Welcome back our viewer. And as we had promised you, we have in the house none other. Can I hear some shouting? The wonderful yeah. minister of the gospel. Amen. I am I'm very careful not to uh, pronounce his name Vila Istaili, but na join it Dodo Maneng. See your dodo ni dudu maneng. Dudu maneng. Dudu. Dudu. Najua dudu ni insect. So sitaki kuku insult. But what does it mean? Inamanisha mtu anayependwa. Ah, no wonder. Wow. So unajua nikiingia kwa Kiswahili, sasa naona kama sikuiti vizuri. Hata spelling yake sio D. Najua ni D O U. Yes. Eh so ni dudu. 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 Yes. Na unaweka D. Yeah. Ah, sawa, sawa. <laughs> tumefurai, tumefurai sana kuwa na wewe kwa Divine Encounter. Amen. Uh, tumekuwa na wewe uh, hapo mbeleni, but now we are so happy to have you. Asante sana. Na tunaona umekuwa mzuri, Mungu ameendelea kukutia nguvu. <laughs> Niotukufu wa Mungu. Amen. Yeah, but nilikuwa mgonjwa. Eh. Hey. Uh, nilifanyia operation ah. lakini neema ya Mungu iko juu yangu nimesikia oh. vizuri sana. Amen. Yes. Asante kwa Yesu kwa sababu ya kukuponya. Uko na kazi kubwa sana, unge tuacha. Na utaishi sana. Sana. Katika jina la Yesu. Katika jina la Yesu. Amen. Amen. So uh, tumekuwa tukiongea juu ya uwepo wa Mungu siku ya leo. Mm -hmm. Kwako uwepo wa Mungu unamaanisha nini? Eh, kwangu uwepo wa Mungu uko na maana nini? Mm. Eh, maana ya kwanza mm -hmm. Uwepo wa Mungu ni, ni nguvu kwangu. Amen. Bila uo uwepo wa Mungu wa Roho Mtakatifu mm -hmm. siwezi nikashinda. Amen. Vita viko vingi sana duniani. Kwanza tukiangalia muda ambao tunaishi sasa hivi. Bila nguvu za Mungu, mm -hmm. bila uwepo wa Roho, hakuna kutoboa. Ni kweli. Jambo la pili. Mm -hmm. Uwepo wa Roho Mtakatifu kwangu unanifunza, yani uko na maana kwangu kwanza Roho ni mtakatifu. Ehe. Naye ananiongoza kukaa katika utakatifu. Amen. Wakati ninapokosea ananikumbusha haraka. Ehe. Kumbuka ulikosea mahali, Ehe. nenda ukatubu, ukae katika utakaso. Amen. Amen. Ehe. Jambo la tatu. Ehe. Roho mtakatifu kwangu inanionyesha kwamba ni, ni roho wa uzima. Mhm. Mm Anatuhakikishia tutaishi milele. Amen. Kama hatuna roho, hatutaishi. Ni kweli. Ah. Jambo la nne, mm -hmm. roho kwangu ni kama vile mwalimu mkuu. Mm -hmm. Ananifunulia siri hey. ya kufika mbinguni. Haleluya. Kwanza hapo. <laughs> hapo. Anakufunulia siri. Siri ya kufika mbinguni. Na ndiyo maana wengine wakibabaika, wewe kwa sababu ukona siri ambao hawana, wanashindwa kwa nini umetulia hivyo? Imagine. E, unasema tu ati nilikuwa mgonjwa nimepona na unasmile. <laughs> wengine wamekuwa oi kakaangu nilikuwa nafa. <laughs> But angalia kicheko ambacho mungu wamekueka. Amen. Amen. Wow, those four things tunashukuru sana. But ningetaka tu tujue kidogo juu yako. Umeoa, umeolewa. Wewezi olewa. Umeoa na ukona watoto. Ya, nimeoa, nikona watoto wa wili, kijana na msichana. Mtoto wangu wa kwanza na hituwa presio. Presio. Yani ama precious. Precious. Ya. Iyo ni French. Ni French. Na mtoto wangu wa pili ni msichana na hituwa Mary Teresa. Mary Teresa. So nasikia wewe unaongea French. Nyumbani ni wapi? Uh, kwa sababu huyo ulimi ya French hiyo mm. si ya hapa. <laughs> Na hiyo nasikia si kikuyu. Ah, si kikuyu eh. si ya terere. Eh, si ya terere. Eh. <laughs> Nyumbani ni Kongo. Eh. Ya nimetokea Kongo, huko eh. mahali Angela. Eh. Anatoka. Ah. Tatu anatoka area moja. Wow. Yes. Kwani hiyo kijiji ni kijiji ya waimbaji? No, Kongo karibu Kongo mzima ni ya waimbaji. Ni ya waimbaji. <laughs> wow, neema ya Mungu kweli kwa yes. So wao unatubariki sana especially kwangu wao unanibariki because Amen. sio kuimba tu. Amen. Sauti uko nayo nzuri tena kabisa. Ah, Nashukuru Mungu. But uh, the beauty ambayo uko nayo ni kwamba ukiimba mtu anahisi uwepo wa Mungu. Na kuna waimbaji wengi lakini tofauti ni kama Mungu ako na wewe kama vile Richie alisema kama Mungu yuko na wewe unajuanga tu yes. na sio wewe tu unajua hata wale watu wako karibu wanajua huu ni sani ya skefa unajaribu kuambia na, ku, na kukemea kupitia jina la Yesu yule anaabudiwa <laughs> shetani anasema hata hakujui hakujui hata wewe hakujui umenikumbusha kitu mm -hmm. kuna pahali nilikuwa siku moja Ehe. kijana mmoja alishikwa na mapepo Ehe. wakaita watu wakuje waombe wakashindwa mm -hmm. kukakuja pasta mwingine huyo pasta wakati alifika hapo huyo mm -hmm. jamaa wakati aliona tu huyo pasta mapepo zilikuwa unajua pepo utambua Ehe. tuona Ehe. sababu pia wana macho Ehe. 
Wakambia wewe pasta. Na wewe unataka kuomba. Eh. Haki tutamtoka huyo atukuingie wewe. Huyo <laughs> <laughs> pasta kusikia hivyo. Eh. Alisema wamompe muda kidogo anaenda kujisaidia. Kenya alienda na alipotea. Eh, usidhubutu mapepo kama hujui vile unaishi ni vizuri kwa sababu shetani anajua wale wako na Mungu anajua vizuri na anatetemeka Biblia inasema hata mapepo inajua neno na inatetemeka eh. ningeomba wengine wenzangu tusimame kwa sababu huu ni wakati muhimu uh, tutakatu tutajaribu ku maintain social distance tuko nayo uh, mimi nitasonga mbele na mgeni wangu asonge pia kidogo uh, mimi si, si mimi mwenye wimbo yeye ndiye mwenye wimbo so sisi tutakubaka the floor is yours Nina haja nawe bwana Yesu. Haleluya. Nina haja nawe bwana. Nina haja nawe. Oh. Yesu.
Tu tu me ona, tu me ona, tu me tu me ona, tu me ona, tu me me ona, me ona, Voice, what a grace and what a song. Thank you kwa sababu ya kubariki kizazi na kizazi na shetani ya meshindwa magonjo ya kukuondoa, kisirani ya hii kukuondoa, na asa ndiyo wewe ni kuendelea mbele. Niko hai. Amen. The Divine Encounter team, as we almost come to the end of the program, I want us to pray and then as we wind up, even our guests being there, we are going to sing Chefu Chefu, at least we dance a little bit before we go. So I know Minister Furaha, you are getting ready. Uh, we are going to wind up with that song. And, uh, but for now, I just want you to believe God with me. That whatever you're facing, whatever is happening in your life, that the presence of God will overturn sickness. The presence of God will overturn mockery and shame. Father, in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, we commit our viewer right now that is in the, on the verge of giving up that is on the verge of shameful situations. We pray that by your presence you will overturn, that you will show your salvation and show your mercy. And when you do it, your glory and your honor will be given, O oh God. We also pray for those that do not know you, that they will come to a place of divine encounter and come to a place of realization that it is only you that can help them make it in life. Those that are not born again, we pray that you may save them and let your redeeming power uh, purchase them from sin and from death. In Jesus' name do we pray. Amen. Ujaokoka, utasema tu nyuma yangu bwana Yesu mimi ni mwenye dhambi ninakupokea siku ya leo uniokoe na ukae na mimi and as you do that you are born again your feedback is important to us and what you say to us is important for now let us sing this song and uh, we will dance for like this, the next 3 minutes ondoa viti and then we say bye bye and god bless you
Tell me now.